G'day viewers and welcome to another video from Alex Does DIY. Um, I just wanted to show you something that I've installed in the front of the bus um, that's uh, quite helpful and a bit of a backup. I do like to incorporate into my um, bus here, my motorhome contingency plans, uh, a little bit of insurance in case things go wrong. For example, having the generator in case my solar's not uh, charging on an overcast or rainy day and those sorts of things. Um, another issue I, I faced while I wasn't really driving the bus for a year while I built it was that uh, if, if I didn't, if I wasn't diligent in starting the bus, so at least once a week, um, my start batteries, the 24 volt factory start batteries would run flat so I don't know whether that was a battery issue or is a battery issue um, or whether I had some a power drainage somewhere that's causing that to happen so obviously it is it is a potential issue um, I did end up um, identifying the problem with mine as being I need to replace a battery and I still haven't replaced that yet um, but for that reason obviously I installed this uh, system that would get me out of trouble because it can happen imagine if you're parked up somewhere for a month or more and you're not running it and keeping your uh, start batteries charged obviously you do run the potential of running those batteries flat and then you're not going to be able to start when it comes time to start so um, I, I don't really want to rely on other people I like to be fairly self-reliant where I can be I do have roadside assistance now but I don't really want to use it if I don't have to so um, I still have a problem where the batteries uh, because I do actually have a battery problem I need to replace my batteries but the bus won't start at the moment off the standard battery so I will show you that and then I'll show you my solution so if I take you over here let's have a look If I pop the key in the ignition here, we turn it, I get lights, a little bit of a light, not enough to start. So my solution to this problem uh, was to install a magic red button on my dash. And uh, that is down here, just this red button here. So if I can set you up somehow so I can do this with only two hands, where are we? So see this red button here? So turning the key I still get nothing. If I press the red button and we're starting and there we go and we're out of trouble. So what is that red button you might ask? Well it seemed pretty uh, a simple solution to me that whilst I might not be charging my start batteries on the bus obviously I am charging at all times uh, according to the weather obviously my solar batteries um, so they're always always charging a good uh, 60 volts from my panels so um, what I did with that button is it's a momentary button and it fires or activates a couple of relays that then make a temporary connection between my solar batteries and my start batteries and then that gives me enough power or boosts any power that I'm lacking in the start batteries and will then start the bus. Pretty simple idea. There are some commercial setups that you can buy off the shelf that do it. Um, they cost quite a few hundred dollars from what I saw. Um, mine, I spent on that setup less than a hundred dollars. I think all up was about 90 bucks. I bought the relays off um, of eBay and uh, yeah just a cheap momentary button so what I'll do now we'll jump out and I'll go and show you the relays and uh, how that's all wired up okay so here's my two solar batteries here and uh, these are my two all right two there's one at the back um, two start batteries so the start batteries for the bus are 24 volt I'll set up for 24 volt whereas my solar is 12 volt. So I'll position the relays just here 
They are 500 amp relays. So once I hit that momentary button, um, you can see they're connected to the solar terminals here. Comes up to these relays, it activates those relays, and then we've got positive and negative. So one relay for each, one for positive, one for negative. Then runs through here and connects to the battery at the back here. And they need to connect to the battery that is the has the earth connection to your chassis. Okay? So that's how with a 12 volt system you can provide additional backup power, additional ampage and voltage to your start batteries um, that will give you that extra boost to be able to crank, crank over the, uh, the motor and get you started and out of trouble. So, I hope that helped and I hope you find that, uh, that interesting. I highly recommend you do it. Um, it's a cheap and easy solution to get you out of trouble. So, anyway, there you go. I'll sign off there with uh, a quick shot of where I'm, I'm parked up at the moment. So this is my front door.